Welcome back, folks, and today we're going to talk about Sir Isaac Newton, and we're going to discuss what he may or may not have known about the Bible codes. I personally think that Godfrey Neller's portrait of Sir Isaac Newton says a lot about the man himself. One weird connection I can make between Isaac Newton and the Bible codes is his work that, that he did on uh, Newton's rings, which is this banding of light reflection that uh, you, you get with a light and a lens. The study of that subject steps so close to what you do to uh, cipher the Bible codes, uh, it's really uncanny. In fact, I almost can't believe that he wasn't aware of it. At least I might say that the apple didn't have to fall far from the tree for Isaac Newton to figure out what I just said. For centuries, sundials and sundial recorders were widely used, and Isaac Newton had to have been aware of them. Like this tablet that you see right here, where you lay a lens on the face of it, orient it to a compass location, and it points out uh, a bit of information. Now that Isaac Newton, the technology, and I all seem to be on the same page, uh, we can plainly see that the astrolabe that you see here is a very similar tool to the Sanskrit cipher tool that you see here. And also, it's a very similar tool to what you see right here on this page. So all three of these tools are tied together in a very profound kind of way. So without me investing so much time into thinking about Isaac Newton, uh, none of this information would have been put together. And yeah, we could have possibly missed something really great. But that's the benefit of it. Now, now we can pass this on for other people to look at and there won't be any question about what I was thinking. This is when I started thinking about words and, and how they're connected in terms of mathematical symmetry, which is what I discovered the Bible codes to be comprised of, a word occurrence prediction algorithm. But the question we're asking here today is what did Isaac Newton know about all of this? And from the first early indications from what I've just shown you, well, maybe he knew something about it, so we can look deeper into that and see what there really is. Most of Isaac Newton's writings remain hidden and suppressed, and uh, people may never be able to read them. But we can still ascertain some of what he may have known about the Bible codes just by other works that he did, especially works on his math and uh, works that he did with uh, the optics and metals and things like that. My work on this subject with Isaac Newton is still in its early stages, so I'm, I'm still filling in the blanks and building the reference guide of instances where I can say that, yeah, the two things may be connected. So um, every single day I'm looking for more things. My investigations into Isaac Newton have led to some really intriguing discoveries about uh, other unrelated objects. Uh, they come from other times in history, and that, that's really astonishing. So I'm going to continue looking into this, and as more developments come up, I'll, I'll share them in the form of video, and uh, of course I write all this in books, you know, I document all of this as closely as I can, as accurately as I can, and I want people to know exactly what I was thinking, so I'm going to share all of it uh, as new stuff comes in. This has been The Daily Dint. Thank you for watching.